Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to another video of tutorial series Learning Laravel from Scratch. I'm your host Anwarali and I'm here today with a new topic. And actually it's not topic, it's actually the correction of the previous video. And before starting I would like to apologize that it's been quite a while since I posted the last video. And I'll try my best to be regular from now on but I'm not sure because life's too busy these days and I'm trying my best just to share my knowledge so hopefully I'll try my best to be regular and in our new video we will still be continuing on how to remo remove the public from the URL and in the last video we learned that we copy each and every Let me just open the project first and in our application amps www we have folder called project and what we did last time in order to remove the public from the URL was just uh, uh, copied each and every folders from the public folder and files from the public folder and paste it over here and that solved the issue but actually that is not the correct way because it will cause issues um, while uploading the files because we uh, as we remember we had pointed our public folder with the storage through php artist and storage link and there are some other uh, reasons as well that we don't actually copy each and every files and folders from public because we still use that folder we use that folder for many many reasons so the correct way of doing this is getting inside public folder and just copying the index.php and the htaccess file from here and paste it to the document root right so now stxs is hidden here because uh, Mac by default hides the dot extension file so in order to view the stxs file uh, we'll just type command shift and dot and you will see stxs now we can see this so all we need to do is just copy this and this copy it from here or cut it from here and just paste it over here so I just cut and paste index of PHP and ST access from my public folder that is all we need to do we don't need to copy each and every files and folders from public but if you try to browse this now so we don't need to write public anymore you will see that it is not being able to find some of the files because if we go now and open up index of PHP it is requiring some files so require and require once we can see that and it is trying to get something which is inside vendor folder and previously since our index.php was inside public so it need it had to come outside of public and then get to the vendor but now since our index.php is in our root project we don't need to get out of the root and we can just get inside vendor this way so I'll just try to remove these two and save it now if I try to browse my project, you will see it is opening up. But we still have one issue, and that is whenever we try to get inside some other, uh, let's say, path, like our login page, now our CSS, our JS, everything is gone. And this is because, now if you try to see uh, project login, which is our, if you go to our resource, views, and login which is inside auth login blade uh, it is trying to extend something that is inside layouts app I just want to open that so views layouts app dot blade dot php you can see uh, it, this, this is the place where it is trying to load something which is inside CSS and the CSS is inside public folder and previously our index.php was inside public folder so the path of the asset would be CSS slash app.css but since now index.php is outside of the public folder so we need to explicitly mention public in each and every URL like this so this is the CSS do we have any JS over here or image no similarly for our dashboard we have admin blade.php here in each and every asset functions I will just paste in oops public slash okay like this so copy this paste it in all the assets paste it paste it paste it 
here, over here, over here, and we have any images here. So we also have an, another image, another one. Now I think it's and here we have one more image. So I'm just adding public uh, to my assets function. If you have used, we don't need to do anything to the route. Uh, but in our JS, do we have in JS? Yes. Here we have this one, this one, this one. And there's some more Over here, here. Here, here, and here, here, and finally over here. Now let's try to refresh this. Now we can see that our uh, login page is now loading the CSS because we have added the public folder, it's a public uh, link and public uh, URI within the assets function. Now let's try to just uh, log in. I'm not sure what was my credential info. Maybe. Yes. Now once we get inside the dashboard, we can see all the images, CSS, JSS, everything is loading. So two things to remember. First of all, we need to, I mean three things. First of all, we need to cut and paste our index.php and HD access uh, from our assets folder to our root folder. Now, since we we are outside of public, so we don't we have to correct our path, which is used for require once, and require we just remove the dot dot because we no more need to get out of the public folder. And finally, in all the layouts that we have used, all the views that we have used, in order to load the image, CSS or JS correctly, we need to modify our assets or URL folder. I mean URL function. The parameters should now also have public slash inside it so that is there, those are three basic rules in order to make your website run without public so now you can see uh, localhost project admin so public is gone previously it used to be localhost project and public slash admin but now we don't need public anymore and that's all that we need to do in order to make our uh, URL functioning without public inside it so I hope that was easier and straightforward nothing more nothing complex uh, in the concept so i hope you understood it and if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button share the video and subscribe to my channel uh, in order to get notified for all the recent videos to get stay up to date with the lessons we learn and that's it for today uh, thank you goodbye